What's the ideal way to practice Spanish listening comprehension? As you've probably learned from us at some point, the wrong way to do it is to listen to lots of Spanish materials that you can't understand. The right way, instead, is to listen to lots of Spanish that you can just barely understand. That's because if you listen to lots of Spanish that's way outside of your comfort zone, it just sounds like gibberish. And your brain starts to decide that when it hears Spanish, it shouldn't tune into that because it's just gibberish. This might lead to the unconscious habit of tuning out Spanish when you hear it, and obviously that's the opposite of our goal. But let's imagine something else. Let's say every time you hear Spanish, you can understand it at least mostly, and then what happens is. Your ears kind of perk up, and you're like, "Oh yeah, I think I can understand this." That's the goal. The goal is to listen to lots of Spanish that's just at the edges of your comfort zone. You want it to be challenging so that you're learning from it, but you also want it to be doable, not something that just frustrates you and tells your brain that Spanish isn't worth listening to. So the best case scenario is that you can find that sweet spot where it's not too easy, but it's also not so hard that you can't understand it. When you're practicing right at the edges of your comfort zone, with a little bit of effort, you can understand that, and then you can understand more and more by proactively working right in that sweet spot. And the beautiful thing is that if you do that consistently, your comfort zone will grow and grow until you're eventually able to understand basically all the Spanish you hear. So, what would this look like in an ideal world? So let's imagine that I could just start listening to some Spanish randomly, and then dial up the difficulty of what I'm hearing, up or down, based on exactly where I currently am in my skills. So let's imagine that. Here's how that might go. Let's just say that I randomly choose an upper intermediate level of Spanish, and I just randomly start listening to it. No tienes que suponer lo que vas a decir. Si la niña lo supiera, tú también lo sabrías. Sabrías todo esto si hicieras el trabajo. Okay, now let's say that that was a little too hard for me, so I'm going to move down a few levels and、uh, let's see what I can hear now. Lo bueno es que estás aquí. ¿Cómo estás? Todo bien. Gracias por hacer eso. Okay, now let's say that was too easy for me, so I'm going to work my way up a little bit in complexity, and we'll try to find that sweet spot. Dicen que es un hombre alto y que está loco. No le ha dado la historia sobre la cabeza. Okay, so let's imagine that those sentences that we just listened to are right there in the sweet spot for me. They're just difficult enough that they're challenging, but they're useful for me to practice with. The next thing I would do, again in an ideal world here, is that I would stay right at that level, and I would listen to lots of Spanish listening materials that are right there, so that I can get more practice hanging out right at this spot until it's so easy I'm ready to go up just slightly in the difficulty level. So this kind of whole hypothetical thing that we did is what you would do in an ideal world where you can actually find listening materials right at your specific level. Now here's the good news. This ideal world is real. My team and I have spent the last couple of years developing a new tool that'll help you with your Spanish listening comprehension, with access to a library of hundreds of Spanish listening resources, so that you can practice comprehension right at your level. Check it out. Here's how I'm doing this. So I can just, first of all, choose what level I think I'm at, and the numbers go up to about 250 because these levels are based directly on the LearnCraft Spanish podcast. And then, as soon as I choose a level here, the app starts giving me randomized sentences based on where I am. Ben, sé que tienes que decirle eso. Ben, sé que tienes que decirle eso. So I'm listening. I'm trying to see if I can identify the Spanish before I see it, and then I'm also trying to see if I can identify what the English would be. Quiero que sepas que esto es lo mejor. Quiero que sepas que esto es lo mejor. 
I can then also level up or down based on whether it's too easy or too hard, or I can just camp out right where I am and practice getting better and better. We've built this app specifically with our coaching students in mind, but you can also get access to it if you join our new Spanish listening comprehension course. This is a step-by-step -step phonetics course that explains the specific nuances of understanding Spanish spoken by native speakers. And it goes all the way from the basics of Spanish sounds to some of the advanced things that happen where the Spanish phonetic rules tend to be broken. You'll get lifetime access to the course when you join, as well as unlimited use of our library of listening materials so that you can work on your comprehension step-by-step, -step, just like I demonstrated in this video. Imagine getting to the point in your learning that listening comprehension becomes a big strength for you rather than a weakness. Comprehension is a huge roadblock for most Spanish students, and it's time for you to break through that roadblock. It's finally time to practice your Spanish listening comprehension in the most ideal way possible, right at your level, working from your current comfort zone all the way to advanced understanding of native spoken Spanish.